Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jewel. Um, we're gonna be doing a project today. Um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing. I said we were, I had planned on doing some um, journal inserts uh, and different ideas to put into your journal. So this is one. And uh, these are simply made out of these. So um, let's get right in. These are ephemera pouches to tuck into your pockets and they're really cool because I've, you can make them any way you want and I did a variety of things here and I'm gonna give you some ideas and we're gonna make one today and we're gonna do it with this fabric, this envelope, and possibly that trim. So let me put that aside. Now I have magnets in this one, but you can do this a variety of ways. These are lined on the inside as well, and that's just some pretty um, paper uh, in there. And then uh, I did some shabby chic fabric on this one. You can see there's a rose there. There's magnets, some trim, and then some more little rosebud trim. And here's the back. I left it... it uh, this uh, blank so uh, you can dress these up or dress them down any way you want they're nice and compact and they slip right into a pocket and you you can see there's a good size pocket there where you can put ephemera in them uh, this one I used I made out of an old uh, hanky and actually it's not old I these hankies are made to look old but they're not um, so this one I have a tie enclosure on it and you can see I did some different trims. This is actually just the end of the handkerchief. And then I trimmed off the other end so I could use it. And then I just flipped it the other way and put some trim. And then there's some pretty lace at the top here. And this one, here's some lace here. And this one, I actually have decoupaged this napkin on the inside. Now, these little ephemera pouches have been floating around, um, ooh, uh, oh, YouTube and Instagram, I think for, for probably a few years. And, um, I ha I don't think I've, I've made a few, but not, not like this. This decoupage idea on the inside came from pretty paper you know what, I'm going to have to link it. So I was inspired to do some decoupage. This one, as you can see, I did paper, and some of them I lined the inside with fabric. So uh, they're all a little different. I just I, I decided to just make a variety, and what I am going to do with these, this one again, I have some, just lined it with some pretty paper uh, that I printed, and this again is another one of the um, handkerchiefs and what I did is I um, just went ahead and glued the seam binding to the back and there's uh, one two three trims here and this scalloped edge was on the light on the um, handkerchief so we've got that one now this one is not not fabric this is um, paper from oh I'm going to link her below Oh, she's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I've I've ordered paper from her before. Her digis, uh, they're beautiful. I'm I'm gonna have to link that below. Uh, I did a little ephemera here. It says create. This is from G Kerr, and this is one of hers as well. Uh, we have this one. I actually just did some um. Velcro dots. My brain today is a little slow. I don't know if I should make this tutorial. <laughs> I'll get some trim here and then again did the decoupaging on the inside here so I like that one so you don't have to do uh, fabric this one I have just wrapped around some sari silk like that and this is fabric again and some lace and I did the seize the day here this is G Kerr and I put it on some muslin and this one I went in and did the fabric uh, coordinating fabric on the inside and you can see this one I sewed on with a decorative stitch so when you open it up when you open it up it's as lovely as the outside so that one I'll put aside this one is kind of like lavender shades 
uh, just a little ephemera here, a little uh, prompt here. I did a fabric ribbon and a pretty floor, flower here. The back is plain. This, it might be stuck because I did a boo-boo. Uh, I When I glued this, I didn't let the glue glue dry enough and then a coordinating fabric on the inside so that's a that's a, a magnet this one also is a magnet and uh, the inside is again decoupaged so here's some ideas and what I'm going to do with these and I'm going to be making some more is I'm going to stuff them full of old letters vintage style letters and ephemera and some other things and then I'm going to put them on my Etsy shop. I normally don't do journal inserts. I've only up to this point have sold nothing but either stationary kits or my journals. So I think I'm going to uh, have another area where I'm going to be selling some of my collage things and my tags and um, items like this journal inside inserts. So let me move that aside. Let's get my cutter over here. I'm going to sit down and we will begin this. Now, I felt like it, the best way to cut this, uh, is to go, oh, I had two little ones too. So the size of the pouches does not really matter. It depends on the size of your books. So this one I did a Velcro on again so um so the the uh, size it depends on the size of your books most of my books are seven to eight inches long or eight seven between i should say usually about eight and a half so these this one let me see i think it's seven so i'm cutting my file folders at seven but i will make the part that comes off let me show you so we're gonna cut it at seven. We'll make one the size of the most of the pouches that I made. So I'm just gonna cut the file folder this way. And um, then this piece, I will do one of the smaller pouches with, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm going to uh, take this like this and fold it out. And then the top one has to be lower obviously than the bottom one so you can have a flap okay so I decided that four inches was a good size for the pocket itself so I'm going to go ahead and trim the top and these are great to use as, as fold outs uh, or to put uh, um, tags on and whatnot so don't don't ever throw that out you know we use everything so this is th uh, four inches now i want the flap to be two inches this is a two inch flap so i am going to simply line up the top of this fold or you know this cut piece at the two inch mark and i'm going to go ahead and cut this piece off we will save that and then I want to score it so we have a nice fold, but I will show you something that I, I need to do. I should have I should have allowed for an extra one tenth of an inch. I'm going to take a tenth of an inch off and I'll show you why in a minute. So that this really, see this? So there's a tiny space here. So when you fold it down, it folds nice and flat. So there's the basis for our um, pouch. This one I would do the same way where I'm going to fold it and I did a four inch here too and you can make them deeper if you want. I just feel like four inches is a good size to fit in a pocket and then again we'll line this up at the two. Well I forgot to take the one tenth off but we'll do it now. That's a little bit more than one tenth, but I just want to make sure we can get through this. So I'm going to score. I know I'm out of frame a little bit. Okay, so now I have these two pockets, but we're just going to cover this pocket right here today. All right, let me put this aside, pull my fabric out. So the inside, I think we'll do the inside first. We are going to decoupage. Let me grab my craft sheet and okay 
That way, if I get decoupage on my desk, it's not a big deal. I'm going to use Mod Podge Mat. First thing we're going to do is take our napkin apart. So you only want the top layer. So if you're new to decoupaging, you want to split it. Usually there are three um, layers. Let me see. A piece of tape works well for this. I'm thinking that.